Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video I'm going to do a watch me work for you guys. I am going to use Magic Gel's nail guard system, do a fun little design on my nails and I thought I would take you along with me. But before we get started we have some business to take care of. Ugh. I hope this is the last time. I have once again lost my Instagram account and I'm getting really, really frustrated. And the fact that you can't get a hold of Instagram to rectify the situation, it's just beyond infuriating. So this is my new Instagram handle. If you could give me a follow, I would much appreciate it. I love sharing my content on Instagram. You guys seem to like it. So if you haven't been able to find me in the last week or two, is because my account got deleted. So uh, I know there's a lot of hacking going on and accounts getting disabled and a lot of crap, pardon my expression, going on on the Instagram platform. And I, I just hope that they rectify the issue soon because this is getting ridiculous. I think since November, I've lost, I wanna say at least six accounts and uh, So with that said, let's get on to the Watch Me Work using Magic Gel and let's get started. So these are the nails that I have on in this video, not right now, but in this video, we're going to take these off and start from scratch. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove all the crystals. Then I will take my cuticle pusher and push the cuticles back. I don't have a whole lot of growth here because I've only had these nails on a week, but I wanted shorter nails. So that's why I'm saying goodbye to these. I am using my, I think this is called the Orange Crush from Atwood. And this one comes in right hand and left handed bit. And I'm using the right handed bit. I don't know about you guys, but this part of the video when I'm watching someone else file their nails down is the most satisfying. And I could watch it over and over and over. Then I'm going in with a medium grit zebra sanding band and getting as much of the product off as possible with leaving a very thin layer on my natural nail.
Then I'm going in with my cuticle bit and getting off any of the cuticle that's on my natural nail itself and just removing it from the nail plate. Then I'm going in with a small moon diamond bit and I got this from Canada Nail Supply. This is the purple professional bit and I'm just exfoliating any of the dead skin that's on the cuticle itself or on my skin itself, not so much on the nail. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Next I will go in with the cutie patootie bit from Light Elegance. I love this bit. I think this is one that's going to be a staple in my studio and one I need backups of. It's great for exfoliating any hangnails, any dead skin along the sidewalls, and also gets rid of some lifting from the product that might be on your nails as well. Okay, after I've cleansed the nails, I'm going in with a silicone thin base, putting on a very thin layer and curing for 60 seconds. Now I'm going in with Soft Rose, so Nail Guard number seven. This came in the Ultimate Starter Kit from Magic Gel. That is available at AR Nail Supply, and I did a review video on that. So if you want, check that video out. And I'm just applying the Nail Guard to create a small extension. Now what I should have done here is removed the the free edge of my natural nail completely. I found that because I didn't, I had a little bump on the side, so I had to add more product. But I did a thin layer, I cured it for 60 seconds, and now I'm going in with another layer, turning my hand upside down, and just filling in some dips and valleys, and letting it self level before I do another full cure. After I've completely cured for 60 seconds, I will go in with a bit, any kind of safety bit I like to use. And this one's from E Nail Couture and just smooth the nail out if there's any dips and valleys. And there actually wasn't that much filing I had to do. And as you can see, there's hardly any dust either. That's what I really liked about this. And just as a side note, I wouldn't use this to create a long extension. I don't think this product is strong enough. And I know that Magic Gel doesn't recommend it. I wanted to see what it was like and how it held up. I found even with this short of a nail, it was a little soft. So I would recommend either putting a tip underneath or if your client's nails are that long, this is great for a gel overlay. So after all the filings done and my nails are cleansed, this is the palette I'm working with from Magic Gel. And I'm going to do uh, French tips and a feature nail on the ring finger. So let's just sit back and watch this process. I have to say that this isn't the most difficult design that I'm showing you. What was difficult about this is doing it on camera, not getting my head in the way and wanting to be able to see up close and get a nice crisp smile line. That was the difficult part. So it may not look like anything special, but wait till you see the end result. It actually turned out quite nice. I was quite happy with this set.
And here I'm just going in with a second layer and curing for 60 seconds. So Magic Gel I do cure for 60 seconds, whether it be the MLAC or their gel paints. I cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. So to tie this design in, I decided to do some abstract art on the ring finger using this colors that I have on the other fingers. And after a full cure, I will go in with the Tackless Hyper Shine and cure for another 60 seconds. Now what you can do when you do a French design, if you find that there's a little ridge where the smile line is, after you've cured your top coat, gently buff the top coat to smooth out that ridge if there is one and then reapply the top coat again. I find that the Tackless Hyper Shine does not separate, it does not pit, it doesn't pull back. So if I'm doing any kind of stamping or double layers of top coat, I will grab this one because it is fantastic and super, super shiny. And of course, the last thing you want to do is condition those dry hands cuticles from the cleansers that you've used and voila, there you go. Super simple summery design. I like a French, oddly enough, <laughs> in the summertime, especially if it's a colored French. So all the products that I used will be listed below. Majority of these products that I used in this video, I did get from AR Nail Supply. Again, I will list them all below for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Thanks for watching everyone, and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.